well, it actually started, you know, while getting ready for Drinking Buddies. Joe has a pitch of how he runs sets. And when we talked on the phone, his pitch was, we'll start at about 9 a.m., we'll have a couple IPAs, we'll have a lot of fun, and I'll have you out by 5 p.m., <laughs> and you're going to be really proud of the product. And I said, Joe, if the product you're selling me is as good as you say it is, I will work with you for the rest of my life. And Drinking Buddies was a blast to shoot, and so afterwards we were like, let's find something else. It's interesting because I talk to a lot of people about that. Like, I, and actually, when I met you, that was a conversation we had, where I was like, making a film is like throwing a party. And the invitation you send out has to be an accurate representation of the party. Right. You can't say it's going to be a really fun rager. I in the morning in Malibu. <laughs> How did that happen? Yeah. I you was at a different party. party. <laughs> I invited you to a different party. But I was, you should have come to our party. It was our real party fun. Was so our party was awesome. Yeah. Beautiful house. Yes. Um, lots of snacks. <laughs> did you have snacks? And okay. I had Orlando Bloom, so I'm not It's sure. true. That's true. I got there a couple weeks before we started, and we were able to hang out a few times. But, but this wasn't like we pounded out a script. There was no dialogue. There's a very pounded loose treatment. Out. Yeah, pounded it out. Sorry. <laughs> we didn't gently work on a script. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't lovingly finish. You're just getting we criticized like crazy, man. You might as well just stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're just getting killed. <laughs> All day. All day. We've just critiqued what I you mean, said. Just <laughs> but it's a, it's an outline. And so and then when each actor comes in, they're kind of asked to bring what they want to bring to the product. Um it's about a husband and a wife who have very separate weekends. Um and I think for me it's about trying to keep a long term relationship exciting. I think it's about uh identity. an attempt to hold on to that identity or when you get married have or have identity. a kid. Yeah. Who are you now? And does that mean you're not the person you were before, or does it mean that person's still inside of you? And, uh, and you know, via a kind of fun weekend adventure movie, I think we have these two characters really trying to figure that out about themselves. Since I first wanted to make movies, I think one of the powers that movies have are the ability to make people feel less alone in the world. So for me, the, the, the most exciting experience I had with other people's work was that you see some scene or you hear some piece of dialogue or something happens in a movie and you go, oh, I thought I was the only one who thought that or I felt I was the only person who had had those feelings. And now that I see this in this movie, I know I'm not alone. I know the world's smaller than I think it is and there are these universal themes and experiences. And so with my own work, I think m like my point of view is the only point of view that I can speak from with any authority. So it's always felt like uh, it needed to start there. Well, it's a really obviously collaborative process. Um, actually, we work till 3.30 in the morning. We never get up that early. Um, it's, uh, I think it was a little, we talked about this earlier, it was a little bit, m you shared a lot more with the actors. Sometimes Joe likes to give everybody very little information so we can really see what happens. This one we got together and talked about, and I think, like, there's no rehearsal in, in films like this, but the getting to know you process is the rehearsal, and it's kind of electric on screen when shout outs and things come back to things that you talked about and you de you develop this shorthand and this intimacy very quickly and it's kind of it's not like you need to go out for drinks after work because that's what you're doing all day long is <laughs> just sort of finding or <laughs> well your scenes <laughs> I mean no <laughs> but um it's a uh, it's a very um I mean there's a scene with Jude Joe's son in the movie who plays our son where he burst into tears because of sort of a misunderstanding <laughs> <laughs> about vocabulary. And it's those kind of like lightning in a bottle moments that films like this really capture because we're not adhering so closely to a script, which is also a wonderful way to work as well. Um, but you keep trying to recreate something that maybe happened once in this. Every time is new. And Joe really says, well, I d we already have that. Just do something different, this, uh, you know, and, and you're very clear with, as much as it's very open, Joe's also very clear when he, he needs a moment and won't let us escape yeah, until I'm we I get that moment. I'm an editor, too, and I'm cutting my own movies. So I, it gives me an advantage uh, in the sense that if I do, if we're shooting a scene and I feel like I have pieces A and C already, then we can hone in on piece B. He says you have total control and the actors can do whatever they want, but he also knows what he wants you to do and he's gonna get you to get where he wants it in a way that you feel comfortable doing it. Or so in a way that you didn't even realize that you were he was getting right. you to do something. But it's not like... And then you watch the movie and you're, you're like, like, oh. That. But it's not an improvised <laughs> thing where it's, 
the thing starts and an hour and a half later, something's going to happen. Like there's always a yeah. plan. And the, the takes are short. It's not like some maybe some of your other movies or maybe the kind of mumblecore what they've labeled these movies where you do it, like a 45 minute take. Right. We don't do these. It's more traditional in that. That's sense. changed. Yeah, yeah. For me early on, I was just, you know, I'd shoot a whole hour long tape straight through and then get in the editing room and go, Oh, okay. Now how do I cut a scene out of this? I think I've just gotten more confident and I've done it a lot more. And so now, I, now, yeah, that's it's not also really a fun to work on these movies. I don't know how you guys felt as an actor because you don't have to understand everything that's happening. We went back and did a couple pickups and all of a sudden Joe looked at me and he's like, okay, and in this one, you're going to go and buy a really expensive coat and you're going to steal money out of your mom's wallet. And I was <laughs> like, what? What do you mean? Like, where did that come from with my character? But you trust it because you know that there's the wheels are spinning and he is always editing. You were editing the film while we were shooting. You had yeah, I took a done. break uh, a week in and, and just got a hotel room for two days and just hunkered down and cut. And so uh, even going into week three, I already had a sense of uh, what the shape was and what we needed or what we could get, yeah.